One of the most popular topics on this channel, one of the longest running story arcs, is my commentating on censorship in video games. It's a frustrating topic to discuss because of all the gaslighting around it. You try to discuss how you know they changed Tifa or they changed what a, a female character is wearing in Resident Evil, and the deluge of weirdos trying to gaslight and end the conversation all sound the same. Gamer mad, gamer bro mad because he can't fap to it. And that's how they shut down the conversation. You know, I thought um, these are also the same people that say things like my body, uh, my choice and women, you know, should be empowered. But then they also support covering up and um, making women less attractive. It's such a weird, uh, weird dual position to hold. It's, it's one of hypocrisy and hilarity, you know, but one of the ways I get around certain versions on types of censorship is by using a VPN. Today's video is sponsored by NordVPN. With everything going on right now, sponsors are few and far between, but NordVPN has stuck by this channel in these uncertain times. And look, since everyone's stuck at home right now, a VPN is an absolutely great way to access your content worldwide. Look, we don't need to look any further than the nightmare scenarios my fellow YouTubers have gone through with getting their channels hijacked or worse as a perfect example of things that can go wrong online. I've been using a VPN for the past year or so, and it's been NordVPN. There are a lot of reasons to use VPNs, whether you want to access your favorite entertainment like Netflix anywhere in the world, or you're just worried about a service that has a super fast server farm with over 5,500 locations in 60 countries. NordVPN has no data logging, 24-7 customer support, and you can have up to six simultaneous connections, protect your laptop, your phone, and your desktop. You wanna talk about awards? How about that NordVPN has been selected as the best VPN in Best VPN Awards for 2019? Now, I have a special offer at nordvpn.org slash the quartering with promo code quartering, where you can save 70% on a three-year plan, plus get one month free. Do yourself a favor, protect your data, protect your precious information, and head on over to nordvpn.org slash the quartering and get your deal today. And thanks to Nord for sponsoring all of today's videos. Very, very, very important uh, to have sponsors uh, this day and age in YouTube, so thank you. Now, there's an article written by thegamer.com saying serious Sam fans are angry that the topless harpies have been, quote, censored. Now you can look, obviously, the way that this article is written, it's gonna be another one of those gamer bros mad cause they can't fap. Serious Sam's 4 Steam page has become a battleground today thanks to a debate over whether a redesign of the Harpies should be considered censorship. Now, again, he's calling it a redesign. These are the same people that would say Tifa was modernized. Um, Serious Sam's 4, despite nearly 10 years since its last entry, the game uh, series, Serious Sam, still has a lot of passionate fans. A forum post on recently revealed Serious Sam 4's Steam page has over 500 comments and comment. The topic, Harpy Bobs. The original post titled, Did They Censor the Harpy? It's since been changed by the OP to Don't Comment, Need Lock. Presents an in-game cutscene of Serious Sam 3's uh, spicy Harpy enemies along an image of Serious Sam 4's redesigned Harpy, now covered in demonic demon flesh and significantly less nippy. The OP explains that they were hyped about the game until they saw this and then opens the floor for the same exhausting SJWs are ruining our video games conversation we've seen online countless times. Yes, apparently SJWs have come to take their harpy bobs away, led of course by video game en enemy number one, Arne Anita Sarkeesian. Uh, you can read this this comment that says, in an era of censorship and SJW, what else did you expect? Unless this is a craze that has anytime, ends anytime soon, it will only get worse. Unisoft, the latest Assassin's Creed game, has censored the statues, which are worldwide, worldwide known works of art. Just because they have nips, 2K censored liberty leading to people painting in Civilization VI, just because of the same reason, despite from the painting is featured in despite this painting is featured in school books. Many take the approach that it's hypocritical to censor this while putting uh, other acts and uh, like gore on display. Ending things, blood, 
Uh, ending monsters, no problem. Bob's, it's forbidden. Uh, I don't blame the devs at all since they didn't censor. An outrage mob would come for them uh, with all sorts of uh, cancellation and other things. This is how things are nowadays, sadly. And they're right. You know, it's it's one of those tough uh, conversations to have. This is a video that will be reposted by certain disingenuous folks on Twitter with the same tired caption uh, insinuating, you know, gamers can't fap, gamer beard man, bat, beard man bat, mad that can't see bobs. But ultimately, that's just a smokescreen, and you shouldn't let that deter you from your continued support of artistic expression and your continued vigilant um, reporting on or response to any types of censorship. Now, ultimately, eventually a thread drew attention of a well-meaning developer joined the conversation to dump a bucket of ice water on the conversation. Uh, the de developer says, didn't really go through the entire thread. Sorry, but there are better ways Better places to look at gazangas than video games. Here we just end stuff. So this article is uh, insinuating that the developer said that it isn't censorship, but to me that that comment would indicate that it is, right? Unfortunately, the comment is taken by many, including the OP, as an admission of the redesign is in fact censorship. What do you mean, unfortunately? It, that's what it means. Um, the thread goes on and on for like 38 pages. Until the developer comes back to spell it out for everyone that this was an artistic design decision, not censorship. Right. Right. Just like uh, Square Enix's ethics department uh, makes similar decisions. Again, does it ruin the game? No. Should, if people are upset by it, they have every choice to not buy the game. Something that I would support. Um, then again... You know, they did this type of thing to Final Fantasy VII. I called it Final Fantasy VII Remake. I called it out. I still bought the game. Um, it's okay to call it out, uh, point it out, and be against it. And ultimately, life is short. If you want to play the game, play the game. But to gaslight and say that the developer didn't explicitly agree that it was censorship is, of course, game journalism 101. The, the dev comes to say... Where did I say it was censorship? I said that it was a design choice that had nothing to do with showing or not showing them. I'm guessing the character artists felt like this looked better. Even the concepts for the harpy didn't, weren't fully exposed. I realize someone cares about stuff like this, but design changes are happening all the time. Look at the scorp or the crumb. This is the way stuff works. At the end of the day, though, I hope the thread doesn't end up being a place of unrest and fighting. I haven't locked it because it's fun reading up on different opinions and passionate answers. Let's keep it clean so it can go on peace, love, boobs or not. And I think, you know, that's a reasonable response. Uh, they're not going after anybody. They don't let the game journalists do that for them. Those offended by the redesign seem to be conveniently forgetting that the Harpy in Serious Sam 3 is a redesign from the Harpy Serious Sam HD as well. In previous games, the scathe in which Harpy wears a bikini. Their argument seems predicated on the incorrect notion that them being uh, exposed is somehow the series, uh, the core to the series censoring akin to removing weapons from the game. I mean, a, a fair point, maybe. Um, they have changed the design, and not every change is censorship. But I do think it's absolutely reasonable to continue to question things like this. Um, the original poster has asked that the thread be locked because they correctly believe the conversation has become, and here we go, a toxic mess of gamer rage and regurgitated alt-right buzzwords. And there you have it. Absolutely destroying any objective argument that you had laid before because you're clearly not objective in this matter. Uh, you are yourself one of these crazy SJW folks because you're the only people that would refer to, to dissenters as automatically being in the alt-right. Then you see um, this post, very poor marketing choice and a bland excuse. The world has enough of identity politics and video games with the nonsense of realism and go watch some prawn. If you like monster female chess, you, you are an incel. AAA market is float of feminist ideologies, nerf designs, SJW toxic mindset, and now people are starting to wake up and say enough is enough. Keep the soy boy mindset up and running and it will crash and burn. What's the problem if someone likes these fictional pixels? in the games. Nobody complains about shirtless guys in woke Mortal Kombat or any other games. You don't know uh, you don't know why you don't add it because you're afraid of the 1% of uh, groups that will go and scream misogyny. Good job, clowns. Now, this comment is a little spicy, 
but the point is uh is true you know and 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 maybe this particular case wasn't somebody knowingly going through and saying oh we need to make this change for um you know censorship reasons but we know for a fact tifa from final fantasy 7 was we know for a fact that the developer of mortal Kombat came out and said oh well it's not it's not practical that women would be fighting in bikinis, but it is practical that men would be fighting shirtless. I mean, the examples of developers um, not being uh, uh, consistent in their own applications of their reasons uh, is ridiculous. Of course, Mortal Kombat 11 censored it so they didn't get angry um, blue check marks on Twitter talking about you know women being too spicy in the game. Of course they did, and of course it's a it's the same people that would also be like hashtag free the nip. I mean, which is it? Do you do you think a woman is free to do what they want with their bodies or not? Or are you the moral arbiter of what women can wear? Are you the arbiter of what is attractive and what isn't? Um, that same people would also argue that the only reason anyone could possibly oppose video game censorship is because they want to fap to it. It's a disingenuous gaslighting argument meant to shut down discourse and hide the fact that they secretly support it. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.